Hey guys, it's Landon with Redefine Horizons and this is another short video I'm doing for our CAD Management Weekly Blog. And in this video I'm just going to walk you through how you can configure your snaps in BricsCAD. This is uh, BricsCAD version 21. I'm sorry, my wife's talking loud in the background. She's talking to her girlfriend. She's probably had a glass of wine. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's get our snaps set up. So uh, we our office is kind of split 50-50. We've got some people that, that don't draft with their snaps on and then we've got about another 50 50 percent that do draft with their snaps on so um i i actually draft with my snaps on all the time so we call people that don't at my office we call them no snappers and we kind of hate on them a little bit so i'm assuming you're a snapper not a no snapper if you're watching this video so let me show you how to set these uh settings in in bricks cad so right down here in in this little bar down here at the bottom of your cad window you've got this snap which you could just you click that on and off with just a mouse click but we're gonna right click and go to settings it's gonna pull up the settings dialog in BricsCAD and it's gonna open it to the snap section <clears throat> now this first part is all about snapping to the grid okay and I, I don't ever draw with a grid on um, so I, I'm not gonna show you guys any of those settings but you can look at that if you'd like to okay but <clears throat> what we do uh, we do use snaps for other stuff so we're gonna uh, open snap tracking here and let's see I don't think we need to change anything on there we don't need to use the polar angles I think I'm fine with that okay so right here this is what we really want under 2d and 3d entity snaps okay so <clears throat> what we want I always want my keyboard to override uh, coordinate entry okay so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and leave this uh, set right here okay we'll do we'll do number two okay um, I'm not gonna funky mess with any Z values I'm gonna leave this uh, we're gonna leave this default so we're not gonna check this box okay um, this right here allows you to ignore hatches um, as a general rule I don't want to hat I don't want to snap to hatches the geometry hatches so you want to leave that checked um, we're gonna ignore the endpoints of dimension lines and we're, we're not gonna mess with the Z values at all here negative Z values so you can you can just keep the, the defaults on those if you're in my shop as a general rule okay um, I'm not quite sure what these do but I think I'm gonna check them I want to recognize tangency and perpendicularity perpendicularity we'll do that okay this right here uh, controls whether the aper aperture box displays or not and this sets the size of the aperture box the aperture box is that little symbol it's usually yellow that shows up um, when, when you go to use your snaps as you make this uh, number bigger um, that your your snaps get more magnetic okay and uh, so I'll show you I'll show you that in a minute okay and then right here just you can check or uncheck whether you want to snap to DGNs DWS or PDFs and I'll just leave all those snapped okay now what I didn't see in here was the spot where I actually set my snap which entities I want to snap to entity C oh here we go okay so it's right under 2d and 3d entity snaps Okay, and then it's this first one, Entity Snap Mode. Okay, and so this is where you can pick your snaps. So I like to run with Endpoint, Midpoint, Center. I also like Node checked. I don't usually use Quadrant. I like Intersection. I also like Insertion. I like Perpendicular. I like Tangent. Nearest is the one I do uncheck because uh, it can be a little bit dangerous, so I'll leave that unchecked. I also like Apparent Intersection. I'll leave Extension and Parallel on. Okay, so you you you'll get to you'll get used to your own snap settings, but that's how you change them. Okay, now let me show you the the aperture, um, what the snap aperture is, and what happens when you change those settings. Okay, so I've got a line here now. If I go if I go to draw another line with my snap on, you can see that it's as I as I get close, it it pulls me in there. Now that little red box that's shown up, that's the snap aperture. Okay, that's the aperture box. Okay, something else has got is going on. I've got like, I've got some kind of grid going. Yeah, 
yeah, so let's uh, that that might have been something we did in the snap settings. <laughs> so that's horrible. We want to turn that off. Oh, right here, grid. Okay, so so with this is checked, you guys can see when I'm running a command like circle, it's forcing me to snap to the grid because I've got that checked. Okay, as a general rule, we don't want that. We're not drafting on a grid. So let's go in here to snap, and we're going to turn that off. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so what I was telling you before is if you come down here and, and turn on your, um, you, 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 you turn on your aperture, so you can turn that box on and off, that the, bo the aperture box that displays with your snaps, but you can also change how magnetic it is. So I'm going to make it five times as magnetic. Okay, and then I want you guys to see what happens. Now, you see how much bigger the aperture box is? That's because if, if the endpoint falls, if what I'm drawing to falls within that box, it's gonna it's gonna grab it's gonna grab it. So I've got a much more magnetic snap here now, right? Now that's just too big for me. That would drive me crazy. Okay, so I would go back and, and I'm gonna go back and shrink that to 10. I'm just that's what I'm used to drafting with. Okay. Now a quicker way to just get to your snap settings is you can come over here to your entity snaps and it'll let you pick you can turn off and on your entity snaps, okay? So um, that that's another way to do it. It's just a it's a, it's just a shortcut. It was the very same settings we we had in the other box, but it's just a shortcut that you can use, okay? So I just turned off my node snap and turned it back on, okay? And then you can get to some of the same um, some of the same uh, settings in here, okay? So you can ignore the elevation snap or not snap to hatches, ignore the negative Z, some of those other things that we looked at. Okay, so that's just a quick shortcut to that under your entity snaps. Okay, and so that's just a, a quick idea of how you guys can set up your uh, your snaps when you're in BricsCAD. This is version 21, but it'll work in a lot of other versions of BricsCAD. I recommend you work with your snaps on. Don't be a, don't be a no snapper. Work with your snaps on. It'll save you a bunch of time. And uh, just go in there and configure those snaps uh, the way you like for when you're doing your drafting work. So there you go. That's the that's the video, folks, for uh, for this edition of the CAD Management Weekly uh, blog video. So hope you guys enjoyed watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget subscribe if you're on YouTube. Hey guys, I'm back. I wanted to show you one more thing about snaps real quick. So if you open the settings dialog in BricsCAD. Um, if you uh, go down here to dis uh, see pr uh, program options and then under display, you can come in here and set the color of your snap boxes. So if you look, I got to find it now. Right, nope, where's it at? Okay, it's a little farther down. So right here, you can actually set the color. For your snap so I'm used to the AutoCAD color so I'm gonna make it yellow and then you can set your 3d snaps to a different color so I just wanted to show that to you guys uh, so you can change the color of that aperture box if you want